Peppa Pig, the official annual 2022. <laughs> Snowy Mountain. Wow! Peppa and her family have come to the mountains to go skiing. The ski lift is there to carry everyone to the top of Snowy Mountain. Er, it looks a bit high, says Daddy Pig nervously. Daddy Pig does not like heights. They get into the ski lift chairs and the safety bars come down. Whoa! shouts Daddy Pig as they are lifted up into the air. This is really fun, cries Peppa. <laughs> oh, yes, says Daddy Pig. Really fun. In the air, in the chair, sings Peppa again and again. <laughs> the ski lift soon reaches the top of Snowy Mountain. Daddy Pig isn't sure how to get out of the chair. Oh, he shouts falling out of the lift and into the snow. When Peppa, George and Mammy Pig reach the top of the mountain, they find Daddy Pig totally covered in snow. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman, says Peppa giggling. <laughs> says Daddy Pig, shaking off all the snow. Skies, skies, get your skies here, calls Miss Rabbit from her ski hut. Hello, says Mammy Pig. Skis for two grown-ups and two children, please. There you go, says Miss Rabbit, handing over the skis. Yippee, says Peppa. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is Peppa and George's ski teacher. <laughs> Will we ski all the way down the mountain? asks Peppa. Not today, Peppa, says Madam Gazelle. We'll stick to the baby slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. To stop, point your skis together. The children copy Madame Gazelle. <laughs> when they reach the bottom, Madame Gazelle shows the children the gold cup she won for being a world champion at skiing. The children are very impressed. Wow! Can we see you do some more skiing? <laughs> asks Peppa. Please. Very well, says Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle performs a ski routine with twists, turns and a big jump. Oh, gasped the children. That was amazing, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> yes, well, I was the world champion says Madame Gazelle. Now which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? says Mummy Pig. Hooray! Are you sure, Mummy Pig? says Daddy Pig. You haven't skied for years. <laughs> it's like riding a bike, says Mummy Pig. You never forget. Which way does this go? All the way down the mountain, says Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Mummy Pig sets off. Uh, where are the brakes? she says to herself. <coughs> Mummy Pig zooms down the mountain very quickly and on to the street below. <coughs> Whoa, stand back! <coughs> she shouts. <coughs> wow, my mummy is skiing super fast, <coughs> says Peppa, watching from the top of the mountain. <coughs> and she did a loop the loop. Wow! She can't stop, says Madame Gazelle. We have to catch up with her. <laughs> Mummy Pig isn't sure how she is going to stop, but then she hits a big bank of snow. <laughs> Everyone skis down to find her at the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> says Mummy Pig through the snow. <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman, says Madame Gazelle. No, it's just my mummy, says Peppa. <coughs> mummy Pig shakes off all the snow. <coughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing, says Madame Gazelle. <coughs> this cup belongs to you. Madame Gazelle gives Mummy Pig her world champion skiers cup. 
My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain, says Peppa. Everyone laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> The Tall Tree <laughs> Peppa and her family are visiting Madame Gazelle at her home. <laughs> Hello, everyone, says Madame Gazelle, opening her creaky door. Come in. Hello, Madame Gazelle, says Peppa. As they step into the house, Peppa and George find themselves sliding down Madame Gazelle's hallway. <laughs> Whee! cries Peppa. Your hallway is a big slide. <laughs> hmm. Is it meant to be like that? asks Daddy Pig. <laughs> no, says Madame Gazelle. The house is just old. <laughs> In the living room, lots of things are leaning to one side. <gasps> Everything here is a little bit wonky, Peppa gasps. Madam Gazelle, I think your house might need fixing, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> he peers out the window and spots a tree pushing against the wall. <laughs> Madam Gazelle takes him outside. It's my little Christmas tree from a long time ago, she explains. I didn't want to throw it away, so I planted it in the garden. <laughs> Your little tree has grown so much it's pushing your house over, says Daddy Pig. I'll call Mr. Bull to see if he can help. That's a mighty fine tree you have there, Madam Gazelle, says Mr. Bull when he arrives. Strong roots? Yes, says Daddy Pig, but it's pushing the house over. Mr. Bull stands back to take a look. Oh, yes, he says. Let's chop it down! <laughs> Before Mr. Bull chops the tree down, he must check that no animals are living in it. He gets a rope and a harness and uses them to climb the tree. Wow! Look at that, says Mr. Bull. Little birds are nesting in your tree, Madame Gazelle. Peppa George and Madame Gazelle go and see the birds from the window. <laughs> Mr. Bull climbs higher up the tree. Peppa George and Madame Gazelle climb up higher in the house. Look what's here, says Mr. Bull. Busy bees, cries Peppa. <laughs> Let's see what else there is, says Mr. Bull. Mr. Bull climbs higher up the tree. Peppa George and Madame Gazelle Climb the stairs to the third floor window. I say, look at this, whispers Mr. Bull. Oh. It's an owl, Peppa gasped. <laughs> Whoo, says the owl. <laughs> Onward and upward, says Mr. Bull, continuing to climb. Peppa George and Madame Gazelle reach the highest window in the house. Oh. Bats! says Mr. Bull, spotting some hanging upside down and fast asleep. Wow! Ah, my friends the bats, says Madame Gazelle. They remind me of the old country. <laughs> Mr. Bull reaches up. But what's this? he asks, pulling down a piece of tinsel with a bobble on the end. <laughs> ah, my Christmas decorations, says Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Mr. Bull pulls himself right to the very top of the tall tree and finds a Christmas fairy, he cries. Everyone agrees that, since Madame Gazelle's tree is a wonderful home to so many little animals, it should not be chopped down. <coughs> Maybe to stop your house falling over, we could put it in the tree, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mr. Bull uses his crane to lift up Madame Gazelle's house and puts it in the middle of the tree. Wow! I've always wanted a tree house, says Madame Gazelle. Thank you, everyone. All the animals love living in the tall tree. Madame Gazelle loves living in the tall tree.
Wendy Wolf's birthday. Today is Wendy Wolf's birthday, and she has invited all her friends to her party. Hooray! Happy birthday, Wendy, her friends cheer. Thank you, everybody, says Wendy. Mr. Wolf is blowing up the balloons for the party. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow these balloons up. He blows up lots and lots of balloons and bounces them over for the children to play with. I love balloons, cries Peppa, bouncing a red one up into the air. Me too, says Wendy. And me, and me, everyone agrees. Let's try and keep them in the air, says Freddy Fox. When the children have finished with the balloons, Mrs. Wolf asks, Who wants to play with the bubbles? Me, 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 everyone cheers. Hooray! Okay, says Mrs. Wolf. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll <whistles> blow some bubbles. <whistles> Lots of bubbles float around and the children try to pop them. <whistles> oh, sighs Peppa. We've popped all the bubbles. We can always make more, says Mrs. Wolf. Who wants to go? Me, 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 cry the children. <laughs> Mrs. Wolf hands everyone bubble mixture and tells them to huff, puff and blow. Wow! The bubbles float all the way up into the sky. <laughs> Look at that big bubble, says Pedro Pony, pointing. All the children look up. Oh! That's not a bubble, Pedro. That's the full moon, says Wendy. <laughs> when we will see one, we howl. <coughs> Ow! <coughs> Can you teach us to do that, Wendy? asks Peppa. <coughs> okay, replies Wendy. First you look up at the moon. Oh! Then you... Ow! Wendy's friends look at the moon. Ow! They howl. When they finish, they hear another howl. Ow! Who was that? gasped Peppa. Ow! The children hear the howl again and huddle together until Wendy's granny, Granny Wolf, pops up from the bushes. Oh, hello, Granny, says Wendy. Happy birthday, Wendy, cries Granny Wolf. And hello, Wendy's friends. Ow! Hello, Granny Wolf, say Wendy's friends quietly. My, what big ears you've got, Granny Wolf, says Peppa. Oh, the better to hear you with, replies Granny Wolf. What big eyes you've got, Granny Wolf, says Zoe Zebra. All the better to see you with, replies Granny Wolf. Hey, what big teeth you've got, Granny Wolf, says Pedro. All the better to eat birthday cake, replies Granny Wolf, laughing. Hooray! cheer all the children looking at the lovely birthday cake Granny Wolf has brought for Wendy. <laughs> Wendy, says Peppa, what's that on the top of your cake? Oh. It's a little house made of sticks, says Wendy. Wow! Mrs. Wolf tells Wendy it's time to blow out the candles. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the candles out. <sighs> Wendy blows the candles out and blows the stick house down too. <coughs> My girl, says Mrs. Wolf, and she turns to Daddy Pig. What's your house made of, Mr. Pig? Bricks, replies Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, of course, she says. That was my best party ever, thank you, cheers Wendy Wolf. Ow! 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 Everyone howls, happy birthday! Yay! 
the end. Peppa Pig Strawberries Grandpa Pig is showing Peppa and George the strawberry he has grown. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? asked Peppa. Because the cheeky birds have eaten the rest of my strawberries and I need to protect this last one, says Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig tells Peppa that they can still eat strawberries. He knows the perfect place to go. Everybody in the car, he says, it's time to visit the strawberry farm. Have you come to pick strawberries? asks Miss Rabbit when they arrive. Yes, please, Miss Rabbit, says Peppa excitedly. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing but strawberries, says Miss Rabbit. Pick as many as you like. <coughs> Miss Rabbit takes Peppa George Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig out to the strawberry fields and gives them each a basket to put their strawberries in. Wow! gasps Peppa. There are so many strawberries! Pedro Pony and his family are at the strawberry farm too. <coughs> Hello Pedro! <coughs> cries Peppa. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, <laughs> replies Pedro. But my mummy and daddy keep eating them. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Pony sigh. They have eaten too many strawberries. <laughs> Peppa and George giggle. They love skipping along, picking strawberries and putting them in their baskets. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely, says Granny Pig. The real test is to see if the strawberries taste any good, says Grandpa Pig, picking up a big juicy strawberry and biting into it. Actually, that is rather good. Granny Pig eats a strawberry too. Hmm, mm, scrumptious. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig eat lots of strawberries. <laughs> Peppa and George are very good at picking strawberries and have nearly filled up their baskets. Peppa sings a song as they pick up the strawberries. Strawberry, strawberry. Juicy red and sweet Strawberry, strawberry They're so nice to eat <laughs> Peppa and George's baskets are full of strawberries But Granny and Grandpa Pig's baskets are empty <coughs> Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? <coughs> asked Peppa in our tummies, replies Grandpa Pig. Maybe it's time to go home, says Granny Pig, rubbing her tummy. Danny Dog and his family has just arrived at the farm, ready to pick some strawberries. Wow, look at all these lovely strawberries, says Captain Dog. Don't say that word, groans Grandpa Pig, holding his tummy. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig have eaten too many strawberries. <laughs> Thank you for all the strawberries, Miss Rabbit, <coughs> says Peppa. Now we can go home and make strawberry jam for everyone. <coughs> say Granny and Grandpa Pig. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow, Peppa. Peppa and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. (laughs) 
recorders. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Morning, children, says Madame Gazelle. Today we are going to play the recorder. <gasps> Ooh, gasped the children, listening as Madame Gazelle plays a tune. <laughs> Madame Gazelle hands a recorder to each of the children. Now, does anyone know how to play music on the recorder? She asks. You blow it like this, cries Peppa. <coughs> that is not music, Peppa, says Madame Gazelle. That is a horrible noise. <coughs> to make music, we must play in a way that sounds... Not horrible, <coughs> suggests Danny Dog. Yes, Danny, says Madame Gazelle. <coughs> Madame Gazelle tries to teach the children how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the recorder. Cover these little holes with your fingertips and blow, she says. The children play on the recorders. It's time for the children's parents to pick them up from playgroup. Remember, the most important thing when learning to play a musical instrument, says Madame Gazelle, is lots and lots of practice. <coughs> Goodbye, Madame Gazelle, everyone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like someone is learning to play the recorder, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's me, cries Peppa. Madame Gazelle said I have to practice lots. Oh, says Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig will help you while I uh, do some work in another room. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Sheep is practicing the recorder at her house too. La la la, <laughs> sings Mummy Sheep. Yes, that's it, Susie. Keep going. <laughs> Danny is also practicing. Very good, Danny, <laughs> says Captain Dog. How about we go out on my boat now? <laughs> no, <laughs> replies Danny. I have to keep trying until I get it right. Of course, says Captain Dog. Peppa and her friends have been practicing their recorders all week, and now it's time to do a concert for the parents. <coughs> Welcome to our concert, parents, says Madame Gazelle. Ready, children? The children play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star together on their recorders. <coughs> It is a very noisy concert. At the end of the concert, the parents give the children a big round of applause. <laughs> Haven't the children worked hard? says Madame Gazelle. Yes, replies Daddy Pig. And now it's over. It's strange to think it was only for a week of our lives. I want you to learn this next tune, says Madame Gazelle. She plays Mary Had a Little Lamb on her recorder. The children try to copy her. Remember, go home and practice, 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 says Madame Gazelle. Peppa loves the recorder. Everyone loves the recorder. Peppa Pig Scooters Peppa and George are playing on their scooters. Wee! <coughs> cries Peppa. George is still learning how to ride his scooter. Don't worry, George, <coughs> says Peppa. I'll teach you. Peppa tells George to hold on to the handlebars with both hands 
and then stand on the scooter. George tries, but he wobbles and falls over. No, George, says Peppa. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Soon George is zooming along on his scooter with Peppa. Whee! George, you're doing it! cries Peppa happily. <laughs> That's enough scootering for now, says Daddy Pig. <laughs> it's time to go to playgroup. <sighs> Peppa sighs. But we've only just started. Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, please, Daddy? Good idea, Peppa. It will be a lovely spot of exercise, says Daddy Pig. Hooray! Hooray! Here's Peppa. Ready, steady, go! Wait for me, says Daddy Pig, chasing after Peppa and George on the scooters. <laughs> Peppa and George ride their scooters up and down the hills all the way to playgroup. Whee! They call. <laughs> Not so fast! Daddy Pig is out of breath. Peppa and George get to playgroup very quickly. Madame Gazelle is waiting for them. Bye bye Daddy! Cry Peppa and George when Daddy Pig finally arrives. <laughs> bye! says Daddy Pig, still panting. Oh no, now I have to walk home, says Daddy Pig. Wait, no I don't, I've got wheels. Daddy Pig hops on Peppa's scooter. Whee! Scootering is so much fun, he cheers. <laughs> Peppa and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madame Gazelle, says Peppa, we came to Playgroup on our scooters today. Very good, Peppa and George, replies Madame Gazelle. Let's all paint pictures of how we travelled to Playgroup today. Later on, Daddy Pig says, I don't think we should drive to pick up Peppa and George. Mammy Pig frowns. But it's a long walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. We can scoot, says Daddy Pig. Race you! <laughs> oh, okay, says Mammy Pig, hopping on George's scooter. Whee! Mammy, Daddy, you brought our scooters, cries Peppa. Peppa and George hop on their scooters. Whee! Ah yes, says Daddy Pig. That seems to leave Mammy Pig and me without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, gasped Mammy Pig. You said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, says Daddy Pig. But we will have to run, race you! <laughs> Daddy Pig runs after Peppa and George as they zoom along on their scooters. Hey, wait for me, cries Mary Pig. <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everyone loves scootering. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more!